up you guys and welcome to today's video it is almost four o'clock and uh at six o'clock i should be getting the 2023 polaris sportsman 850 highland tradition delivered to my house so yes yeah, wanted to start this video off i cannot explain how stoked i am yeah this is just completely unbelievable but um yeah just wanted to start this video off and i think i'm gonna go get set up outside behind the trailer kind of on the trailer door and I'm gonna kind of give you guys a backstory and everything and just tell you guys about what's up and how this came about and uh, yeah, so. All right, you guys, I hope this looks decent. I can't really see, you know, how I look uh, with this shot. Let me turn my AC unit off real quick. Okay. Yeah, hopefully this looks good though. But um, yeah, what is up you guys? I just wanted to really quick talk with you guys and let y'all know how this came about. And uh, yeah, just kind of give you guys a backstory on everything. So one of the main questions I get asked like just so often is why did I switch to Polaris? Even though I pretty much answered, not pretty much, even though I answered it in the first video of me getting the Polaris, I'll tell you guys the reasons why now or whatever basically i wanted to first of all switch it up and just you know be different I'm, i've always been that way of just wanting to be different and once pretty much every youtuber out there got on a can-am after i was on mine for so long i just knew that it was uh, time to switch it up and then also one of the other main reasons that i did switch up was because the brand full that i did have for so long uh, I never got really shown any love at all from that brand. After riding, I'm putting out so many videos and switching so many people over to that brand. I was really in search for just riding an ATV that I could potentially get some support from that brand while riding it. And uh, yeah, so I switched to Polaris and uh, you know got the Sportsman 850 behind me. And after only uh, putting out, I think it was like maybe five, maybe six YouTube videos of riding this machine, I actually got an email regarding Polaris sending me an ATV for a certain period of time uh, to run and test and yeah, just represent their brand, which it just really just, I mean, it really couldn't have worked out any better. I didn't have any proof or anything that I was gonna get any type of uh, help. I didn't, I didn't have any idea if I was gonna get any help from the brand that I switched to or anything. And next thing you know, after only like five or six videos, I had an email talking about the brand sending me or to test and so yeah we are here about to get this Hall of Tradition Sportsman 850 delivered to my house which is just insane obviously that's just the cherry on top pretty much but uh, I really can't explain how much of a, a dream it has been for me to receive a foiler from a company you can receive tires from companies and parts uh, etc etc but you know receiving a full wheeler is just at the top of the list and such a, an amazing opportunity i really can't explain how thankful i am to polaris for giving me this chance giving me this opportunity to represent their company uh, i really just can't thank them enough oh gosh i don't want to get stung by a wall through the wall a tripod now but um yeah though i just really can't thank polaris enough it is just so so awesome to have a company see the amount of work the effort and just how much you know i care about my videos and just they, they noticed that and said let's let's give this guy this opportunity to represent our company and test out this 2023 highlifter edition sportsman 850. yeah i mean I, I thought that they were gonna maybe send me like a 570 sportsman or something like that and then they let me know that they're gonna be sending me this machine and you know, obviously I would have been very thankful for any, any foil that they sent me, but this four wheeler is just, uh, I really just cannot explain how, how hyped I am to ride this four wheeler. I'm very happy that I chose the ATV that I did now. Uh, so now I can uh, just showcase me testing the Highland Tradition, having it for the first time. Cause a lot of you guys have asked why I didn't get the Highland Tradition from the get go, but I'm glad it really just worked out so well. It really couldn't have worked out any better. I just really can't thank you guys enough for all the support. Uh, you guys are really what has made this possible. Just supporting the videos, you know, commenting. Uh, everybody that subscribed, we're at hundred K subscribers now. And so yeah, you guys just, really I, I just cannot thank you guys enough for allowing me to have this opportunity uh yeah that's enough talking my dad is actually about to be here i'm luckily going to be able to experience getting this four wheeler with my dad which is just super awesome because he's been with me all along the way he got me my first four wheeler the the rancher 420 
uh, that I started the channel with. Um, he got me my first nice vlogging camera, uh, GoPro, the laptop that I started this channel with, the MacBook Air, and the MacBook Pro that I now edit with today. He got me that also. So, um, and this trailer that I have, this was from him also. The truck that's in my driveway. I mean, I just I can go on and on about you know how much. Uh, my dad has helped me along the way with this channel and um, my mom also my mom has bought me many GoPros pretty much the majority of my GoPros that I've owned uh, have been from my mom and she's just you know helped support me along the way also but yeah it's just super cool that I'm gonna be able to experience this with my dad and have him here with me uh, while I yeah get to yeah just really have a dream come true so yeah I, that's it for me talking uh, i've already said that once but uh, i made it this time uh, and uh, i will see you guys in a bit when my dad gets here we're gonna go get a bite to eat before the sportsman gets here and uh yeah that's the plan and i, I just can't explain how how stoked i am you guys this is this is just insane for sure what up what's up you ready to see this four-wheeler yeah, I'm super glad that you could be here with me, you know, to receive it or whatever. What's up? I'm about to get something to eat. I'm starving. What about you? I'm ready to eat. All right, <laughs> let's do it. We're going to go eat, and then uh, hopefully uh, we'll be getting this sportsman at 6 o'clock. <laughs> made it to my favorite Mexican restaurant around here, El Presidente. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you weren't lying about your hands. Seafoam? Yeah, seafoam. Yeah, that's got to wear off. That ain't gonna wash off. Yeah, that's a uh, dig. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, we're done eating now and uh, about to receive this sportsman. It is 540, so 20 minutes and I guess we'll, we should be getting her. Well, just got the essentials, huh? Alright, let's see what's up with these. 28. Oh no, it's 18. Nothing, right? Nothing. Wait for it. <laughs> 21, right here. 21. Yeah. We get another ticket, right? Yeah. We get another ticket. We didn't completely lose. That's your ticket. Uh, all right. Appreciate it. Good deal. So is this your new addiction? I know that you already had Red Bull was your addiction. Is is the is this creeping up on you now? The ticket. Yeah. yeah, the yeah. ticket. Oh no. Me and the two guys in my crew uh, bought a whole packet. A whole roll. A whole roll. Of oh my gosh. But you slowed down the Red Bulls, right? So you're trying to replace that addiction with the, the tickets? <laughs> about three weeks, but this is the second one today. Oh, gosh. You used to drink, what, five a day or something? Five or six a day. Five or six a day. That's just, yeah, phenomenal for your heart. I tell you what. You used to work at Red Bull for how long, though? Seven years. So is, is that what caused the addiction? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Definitely contributed to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unlimited Red Bulls. Yes. All right, well. We we're just waiting now. It is like 6.05 or something like that. And yeah, the ETA was six o'clock. So I'm sure it's just gonna be around that time. But until then, we're chilling in the yard, waiting on this dude. Hopefully he'll be here soon. Kiki, kitty, kiki, mama. Kiki, kitty. All right, you guys. So I just got a call from the company that is uh, delivering the four-wheeler. And unfortunately, it's going to be a little delayed. The driver, you know, he just got in contact with the driver. And the driver said that he's not going to be here until 7.40. It is almost 7 o'clock now. So, yeah, a little unfortunate. But I'm glad that they're, it's going to get here today because they've delayed this delivery. Like, they said it's going to be delivered for a couple of weeks now, a couple of different days. But, uh... Yeah, I'm glad that it's going to be actually happening today, but it's still kind of unfortunate. It's going to be almost dark whenever he does get here, but it is what it is. Yeah. Either way, glad it's going to be happening today and glad that it's uh, happened the way it's happened because all the other days, you know, Daddy wouldn't be able to be here with me. So glad that it's, uh, you know, happened, happened the way it has happened. But yeah, hopefully he actually gets here at 740, so we'll see. It is now 745. It's unfortunately dark, but hopefully... 
he will be here soon. Hopefully, hopefully. I was backing down, but timing, I guess. You're in the semi? Yeah. I'm okay. Here. Okay. Sorry about the delay, guys. Oh, no, you're good, man. You're good. <sighs> All right, what would he do? It's up there. I mean, I, you can take it off up there. I can make can wait and I come back. But they can, the road block. It's whatever you want. Is there any way that you could make it down this street or not? Is there something about a tunnel or something up there? No, sir. Uh, you wouldn't You wouldn't get to the tunnel yet. Take a left right here. Okay. Yeah, take a left. Take a left. So the 18 wheeler could just back down this road, but unfortunately, we've got uh, the ambulances and fire trucks blocking, unfortunately. We we're going to have them come down another road, but it's just too daggum big. So we're just going to get it right here. Just, well, it came from Minnesota. Came from Minnesota. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Is it came from Minnesota. Wow. And then I don't know where they got it before that. It'll say on the paperwork. Yeah. They brought it into Minnesota to our cross stop. I loaded it like uh, last Thursday. Yeah. But my birthday was yesterday. So. Oh, all right. happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, thanks. But they <laughs> sent me home for the weekend. So I left out this morning. So you I'm came from there. Kansas City? Yeah. Okay. Well, it originally came from Minnesota to Kansas City. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think they got Polaris up there. Yeah, I think Polaris is in Minnesota. Like the yeah, yeah. they got them all over. I know I've been to them. We have a dock, you know, just so we put loads together on our dock, and there's semis that drop them off there periodically. Really? Yeah, there's not a lot of them, but it's every now and then you get all kinds of sizes. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta drop back? No, I got still stuff on there. It's gonna go all the way to the Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge? Oh wow! Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's a bunch of we'll see it. A bunch of floor cleaning stuff on there. That rouge, all right. Yeah. I'm from Wallace. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. They're leaving, so he's about to back on down to the house. I think I see some Outlaw 2s in there. I think I see an Outlaw 2. Uh, probably good. There she is. There she is. <laughs> yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. I was like, 18 wheelers ain't good on this road. I was like, man, is that gonna fit? They say, well, if the big ones will fit, that'll fit. You originally from Minnesota? No, I'm from uh, Chicago originally. Chicago? Okay. I've been out in the Midwest for a while. That's where you're at now, is Kansas City? Or? Yeah. Yeah. I've been out there for a while. Nationals last week, so he wasn't in town. Down in Texas. Yeah, they kind of they postponed the date a couple of different times. You had delayed. Yeah, they told me when I grabbed his load, they, they said the load's behind schedule. Yeah, but it's all right though. But then they said, I'm like, why would you give me a load? Then send me home with. <laughs> yeah, but it worked out though, so my dad could be here. Oh, that's good. With me, right? Yeah. All right. So. Well worth the wait. Yeah, thank you so much, dude. Tough. Oh. <laughs> he knows how to do it, doesn't he? Can we turn the lights off or keep them on?
Awesome, you guys. That is just, uh, that is insane. I, I really cannot explain how how insane that is. It is definitely, uh, it's real now. It was it was pretty surreal before, but uh, yeah, it's it's really real right now for sure. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Terrell. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Hey, thank you guys for your patience. Oh yeah, no, for sure, man. <laughs> it's always fun to see people. That's why I got in this side of the business. Happy yeah. To see you. Yeah. What were you in before? General Freight. Okay. Oh, General you Warehouse Freight. stuff and you yeah. sometimes store. So you deal with the individuals now, like on a person. Yeah. yeah. I still go to the warehouse here and but usually I'm doing like the maintenance staff or something. They're actually happy that you're there. Yeah. They're their machine. Right. And I can bypass. Sometimes I can bypass the the politics of warehouses. Yeah. Yeah. That's the official receiver signature. Yeah. They get paid. Yeah. All right, is that it? Yeah. All right. I'll man. give you guys a copy. Yeah. Okay. I can only give you this one if you unless you want to make a copy of the other one. Just paper on it. I don't know if you put one. I got it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to Pink South Haven, like you said. What's next? Let's see. Uh, yeah. South, South Haven. Haven. Yeah, you're right. And then West Point and Columbus. I hate New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> they got bad curves down there, man. Really? They curves are not made for semis. They're like, oh, we'll deliver it to school. <laughs> yeah, but well, we can get you back down here, though. They moved and everything for sure. Everything worked out. Yeah, you know? yeah. Most people up there, they, they were helpful at the corner of the school. Yeah. I thought that was them. You thought they, that was they us? They started waving at me. They were like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, we thought that you were like the first responders when you're coming up to us with a flashlight. Oh, yeah. And the next thing you know, you're like, I think I'm looking for you guys because I told my dad, I was like, there's a semi up there. I guess that might be it, but sure enough. All right. Well, good deal, big dog. All right, Appreciate man. Appreciate it. I'll look you up. I probably already subscribed to yeah. you. Yeah. I don't know. I do watch a lot of different stuff. Yeah. What, what do you specialize in? It's four wheeler riding. It's like oh, okay. Mud okay. riding, ATV mud riding. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely so, subscribe. Thank you. All right, man. Be careful. All right. See you, dude. All right, Drew. Right. Okay. Be careful. We'll do. Hey, folks. I just got a, uh, a 2023 Highland Tradition Sportsman 850 uh, delivered to me in a semi truck. Uh, I really semi truck was actually the very, very last thing I thought I was going to be delivered uh, in. But hey, it was awesome experience. Definitely super crazy driving a. Uh, 
an 850 Highland Tradition Sportsman off of a uh, semi truck and having it lowered down and everything. Super crazy, but yeah, let's uh, let's get this thing put in the uh, trailer. Unfortunately, it's dark, so you can't really see the machine. But yeah, huge shout out to players for giving this opportunity to uh, ride this foiler. Um, I just yeah, I can't thank Polaris enough. I thought I was going to be having to pick the folder up from a dealership and it got delivered to my house. So, I mean, it just really doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, huge shout out to Polaris. And yeah, we're going to get this thing loaded up and I will be getting back to you guys tomorrow uh, to get, you know, an actual good look at the machine, you know, during the daylight. So. you guys here she is i'm just gonna give you guys a little look at her you know even though we're in the dark and i don't even have power at my house we unfortunately just got hit by tornadoes or a tornado uh the past couple of days so they've been kind of just you know trying to figure out the power situation i guess they just cut the power off hopefully just momentarily but anyways uh yeah i don't have an outside light on right now to show you guys the bike but um yeah i just oh my gosh she looks so good i kind of wish i didn't already see you know the 850 hollow tradition uh the 2023 model you know at mud nationals and the one that i69 had but it's okay this thing still looks absolutely insane uh i've already mentioned with you guys you know in the mud nationals video that uh that orange accent that they have going on on the machine just looks absolutely phenomenal gosh it just looks so good these uh 29 and a half inch they actually say 30 inch now on these uh the tires that come on the hollow traditions i don't even say i don't i can't even see they're they're 30 inch uh outlaw twos they always just look so good and especially with those uh those new tire nipples on there but anyways yeah though you guys uh super awesome that we got to receive the sportsman today even though it was at night time but yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow uh so we can get an actual you know good look at the machine but all right uh shout out to my dad for coming over to help me film and everything and uh you're <laughs> scared the hell out of your arm freaking <laughs> hitting my shoulder but anyways um yeah freaking uh just so awesome that my, my dad got to experience this with me and um it was just a, an awesome turnout like i said although it was at night time but yeah super cool though that we just got to super cool, super cool that we got to get this uh full wheel together so yeah super awesome but all right you guys i will uh see you guys tomorrow i guess we have got power right wherever my dad left power just came back on oh my gosh dude power having power is just essential it is so nice oh my gosh i was just like what am i about to do i'm not gonna be able to watch the sopranos like what am i about to do tonight dude but hey we've got power so super litty you guys it is the next day yeah you know, obviously daylight out so i can really show you guys this four wheeler uh, really quick before we get into it though last night i went out here you know to uh just just gander at the, the old high lifter really quick before i went to bed and uh yeah i went to pull this handle it was obviously dark out i went to pull this handle to open it up and there ended up being a daggum wasp in there and just i'm talking about stung the heck out of my finger it's like 
fingers like it was double the size it's probably like size and a half of what it should be or whatever you know it should not be the size my index finger should not be as large or larger than my middle finger but anyways what kind of diggum look is that you guys that is just oh my gosh but anyways yeah it is daylight out so now we can really take a look at this gorgeous machine This bike has already broken at least one neck, I already know, from somebody driving by, but oh my gosh, it just looks so good, you guys. That gray just looks absolutely phenomenal. The 1000 has more of a, uh, you know, a sparkle in the, uh, the gray on the machine. This has just a tiny bit. I don't know if you can kind of see. I don't know the exact term for it, but on the 1000, it's just absolutely just, you know, completely just shining with sparkles on the gray but i like how this is more of a flat gray and then there are just the sparkly strips that are black and then you know uh i already told you guys that the um the orange accents are just oh my gosh it looks so good so yep and then there's the you know obviously the accents of the blue but this machine is just uh oh my gosh it just looks so good you guys i don't know if you guys remember but at mud nationals 2022 uh they had the the gray and red Hollow Traditions out there, and I ended up getting on their 1000 Hollow Tradition. And I even made an Instagram post. I posted a reel, like, saying something along the lines of Polaris, send me one of these machines. And yeah, little did I know I would be receiving this 2023 just a year later with this gorgeous gray and blue color scheme. I'm so happy that this has happened the way it has happened. And uh, oh my gosh, it just looks so good. The blue shocks. I mean, this machine just really could not have turned out any better, you guys. But yeah, let's just kind of go over the machine really quick. I'm gonna just talk about some specs for you guys. And uh, yeah, let's just, uh, let's get right to it. So the 2023 Hilo Tradition Sportsman 850, um, I don't really think that they have changed much on the machine from the previous high lifter models, except for obviously the color scheme. But uh, yeah, on these high lifter editions, they come with the 850cc 78 horsepower engine, the same engine that's in my machine, just the Sportsman. But in these high lifter editions, they do come stock with a gear reduction. So they come stock with a gear reduction in high and low. Uh, some people complain about that gear reduction in high, but for me, it is not gonna be an issue. You're obviously not gonna be going above i think it's like 50 miles an hour is around where it cuts off at where it starts hitting rev limiter but you're not going to be really even going that fast in trails and you're especially not going to be going that fast in mud holes so just riding through mud and water so that is not a big deal for me at all and then that gear reduction in low is just so so awesome to have this machine will never ever have any struggles or any issues regarding spinning these tires these these huge 30 inch outlaw twos with just absolutely insane lugs on them. I know you guys are probably commenting right now, well, that's not really big for today's, you know, how it is today with all these huge tires they have, but these tires are still just some absolutely just uh, awesome looking, just massive tires still. These are the 30 by nine by 14s all the way around. They were originally 29 and a half inch all all twos, but I think it was, I guess 2022 is whenever they started labeling these as 30 inch. LL2s, I'll show you guys the, the size really quick on these Hilo Traditions. But yeah, the LL2s have just awesome corner knobbies, as you can see on the corner of the lug. And yeah, I mean, these tires were designed really specifically for the type of riding that I do, mud hole riding with nice size ruts in the middle of the holes. And yeah, these tires just do really, really well. They were designed for pretty much Southern riding. So they do great in grabbing uh, the sides of holes and grabbing the ruts. And you know, those, this, this, this uh, side tread really does do, do a lot of work whenever it comes to doing that. But, and they're also pretty soft. So super, super, super quality tires. Highlifter has always made super quality tires. But yeah though, so it's got that awesome gear reduction. I will, you know, like I said, never ever have any issues spinning these tires in the thickest of mud. And then also this machine has the relocated radiator. I really do think that Polaris has the best relocated radiator design of all of the uh, factory mud ready machines on the market in my opinion it just really does look really really good and then the snorkel setup is just perfect it is really just uh yeah easily easily the best on the market between all of the mud ready machines out there in my opinion uh your whole snorkel system is right here 
Uh, it's centered in the machine and up, up really, really high. You know, right there with your a little bit higher than your gauge, or right there, at, right there at your gauge. And so, yeah, I just love, love, love how their snorkel design is. I think it's a lot better than the previous brand that I had. That was a mud ready machine. Uh, everything's just right here. All three of your uh, intakes and outtakes. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's just super, super great design for the snorkel setup. Uh, we've got one storage point right here in the rear. Uh, here's what our exhaust looks like. And I already know what question you guys are wondering, whether or not this machine comes with power steering or not. This machine actually does not come with power steering, but the machine that I have now doesn't come with power steering either. And I really don't think that these machines, you know, if you, if you don't have just absolutely massive tires on, you know, 35s or 33s really, uh, you really don't notice it on these machines, to be honest. So that isn't a big deal for me at all. And then also that's just one less thing that can go wrong whenever you're out on the trails. So yeah, I mean, I just really cannot explain how happy I am to be able to ride this machine for you guys. I just really cannot wait to start ripping this thing. I just broke another neck, but uh, yeah, though, let's get some shots of this bike with some music, you know, some, some really cool shots with it. And then I'm going to pull up my uh, Sportsman that I built next to it so we can just kind of compare. Oh, yeah, really quick, I forgot to mention that this machine comes with arched A-arms in the front. Look at that. Just for extra clearance. And then I think the rear has arched arms also maybe or i'm not sure if it's called raked or what but yeah it seems that way also so it gives you extra clearance whenever you're trying to get through holes but super awesome the high lifter thought of these things whenever they design the high lifter editions and yeah just i really can't say enough good things about this machine it just looks so awesome and uh, i know it's going to perform great also so yeah let's get those uh shots of this bike with some music and then we're going to compare it to the sportsman that i built so let's do it you guys the new body style sportsman 850 that i built sitting next to the high lift tradition sportsman 850 mine is a 2022 this is a 2023 high lifter i'm on 30 inch silverbacks and uh, just a snorkel kit and that is pretty much it other than the winch and here is the high lift tradition stock Oh my gosh, this just, uh, I could just stare at these two all day long. This is just, oh my gosh. But um, yeah, the main thing I wanted to point out was just the difference in these A-arms. Here is how the stock A-arms look on the front of the Sportsman 850. And then here is how the arched A-arms look on the Hilo Tradition 850. As you can tell, they have a nice bend to them to give you that extra clearance. And then we'll look at the rear really quick and to verify, I think I think I was correct about, yep, 100%. So these are just the straight uh, rear arms. And then here are the, uh, like I said, I'm not sure if it's called raked or arched, but you can just tell the obvious bend in the A-arms uh, in the rear, but yeah though gosh they look so good this is just oh my gosh i i, I did not think i was going to be having <laughs> a 23 high lift edition and my sportsman 850 uh sitting in the yard together for 2023 uh, i'd say 2023 is not off to a bad start at all you guys this is just uh super super crazy to look at i will compare these you know slightly worn 
30 inch silverbacks to the brand new 29 and a half inch or 30 inch LL twos. As you can tell, the LL twos are definitely a good bit taller, a little bit taller. I think that the LL twos are actually on like a little bit uh, lower of ground right now too. So yeah, a good bit taller. And uh, yeah, these LL twos are actually gonna, you know, obviously ride a good bit smoother also than these silverbacks. So that'll be nice on the trails. But uh, oh my gosh, you guys, this is just uh, super awesome to look at for sure. Before I end this video off, I just want to really quick show you guys the difference between the sound of these machines. Uh, both have stock exhausts. Mine has had a little usage, so it's going to be a little bit louder than it would be stock. But I still think that the stock Sportsman 850, the new body style with the single exhaust over here, is a good bit louder than the Hall of Traditions exhaust. Yeah, I just think with this exhaust design with the two exit points and just how the exhaust is just set up, it's just going to be, you know, just a bit quieter than this single exhaust. And this, uh, you know, single exit point that's a good bit larger also. But anyways, I just want to show you guys the um, the sound of these two, just stock. All right, I'll just set the brake so I can start it while holding the phone, but... That is the stock new body style Sportsman 850. And then here is the Hilo Tradition. Let me set the brake on this one also. Oh, that's gonna be a little difficult. Okay, let me just set the phone down really quick because those are some brand new brakes, but. gotta get used to this this key positioning last night i was trying to grab like the key right here i know at least a couple times but yeah though this exhaust is actually maybe a tiny bit throatier where as this one is just uh more a little bit more raspy i think maybe is the uh the term for it i don't know it's got a little bit a little bit more bark to it but yeah though that is uh pretty much it for this first video of the Hilo Tradition Sportsman 850 you guys hopefully this wind wasn't too bad for the audio on this video what'd you say that blue looks awesome that's what that blue looks like we've got Colton's approval you guys you, so you guys know we have to always uh see what Colton thinks about the new machines you know I told him he wasn't ready to I told him that he was gonna be surprised so what, what do you got to say? Do you think they look a little better than the XMR Outlanders? What do you think? Oh, totally. <laughs> it, put, it puts the Outlanders in the gar in the trash. <laughs> so like, this thing's about to walk every Outlander in Tipton County. Uh, yep. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man. All right. It's Easter. I just wanted to, to show you guys Colton's reaction because he saw the, uh, you know, you're like the, one of the first people to see the, the sportsman, you know, after I got it. So, heck yeah. Um, I have definitely got a whole lot of motivation to get these Mud Nationals videos pumped out for you guys so I can focus on this Hallifer edition content for you guys. Yeah, so I'm just going to get those videos done first and then we will have some riding content getting put out on this Hallifer tradition uh, for you guys. Yeah, I just cannot thank you guys enough for all the support. Again, you guys are what has made this possible. Huge shout out to Polaris for giving me the opportunity to do this again. I really just cannot thank polaris enough super super awesome company it really just speaks volumes to what kind of company they are to give me a youtuber a chance to represent their company and test out one of their most awesome products that they have available so i uh, really just can't thank them enough i'm definitely going to take full advantage of this opportunity and uh, get some awesome full sends in on this machine and really put it to the test and give you guys just the best content possible of me riding this machine i really cannot wait to start riding this bike and yeah like i've already said in this video this is definitely a complete dream come true and uh that is pretty much going to be it for this video you guys i apologize that this video doesn't contain any riding i just wanted to 
show you guys me getting the four-wheeler and do a nice walk around of it and just uh yeah let you guys know that this is happening and everything yeah like i've said already uh thank you guys so much for all the support uh, without you guys this would not have been possible and yeah as always be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet like this video uh, drop a comment on what you think about the high lift tradition share this video with your buddies i don't know if i've said like this video but like it if i haven't said it and um yeah that is going to be it for this video you guys i will give you all one last look at this gorgeous machine gosh i could sit out here in the yard and just look at this thing all day long you guys that is gonna be it for the video you guys and i will see y'all in the next one